Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of basic Photoshop here. So what I want you guys to do is do File, Open, and open the image that you want to do. Um, for basic Photoshop, I'm just going to take a picture I found on the internet and modify it just a little bit. Okay, so over here on the left are all your tools, and over here on the right are all your layers, your history, your color, and your navigator. Um, the basic tools that we're going to use are the zoom tool, obviously, to zoom in and out. Uh, if you hold down Alt, it'll zoom out. If you just regular click, you can zoom in. Um, up here is fit to screen. Okay. Um, and what I want you guys to do is find your image. Uh, the main tool for selecting is either going to be the marquee tool, which is M on the keyboard, or the magic wand tool, or the lasso tool. Okay, the magic wand tool will go in and try and select stuff that is similar in nature to what you click on. Hold down shift, you can add to it. Um, Alt will subtract from that selection. Okay, um, if you hit control D on the keyboard, it will deselect. Okay, you can see all that stuff that I've been doing, all those clicks and keyboard shortcuts are showing up here on the right under my history. Okay, so I'm going to grab the marquee tool, and if you click on it, you can see there's all these other options. I just want to use the regular standard square marquee tool. I'm going to select some text here, um, and because this is just a, a, a flat image, it's all one layer here on the background, and um, I could turn it off by clicking on the eye, but it's locked, so I can't. It's the only layer that available. Um, I'm going to use the move tool here. And I'm just going to slide this over. If I hold down shift, I can lock it to just one axis. Okay, so I'm just going to slide it over a little bit. Okay, now that I've done that, um, actually I don't like that, so I'm going to undo it. Okay. Control Z. Uh, instead, I want to copy it, edit, copy, and then paste it. Edit, paste. Okay, so now I've got a new layer. I'm going to take that new layer and move it over. Okay. And I can figure out where I want it. Alright, that looks good. But now I've still got these uh, the old words underneath that on the previous layer. So I'm going to click on that layer and I'm going to hide what I had before. Now I want to get rid of all of this word here and these words here. So I could just erase them by using the eraser tool here. Now if you right click, it'll bring up a brush menu. And you can change the size of your brush. So I can make a big brush or a little brush. And then I can increase the hardness. And the hardness is how hard it is around the edges. Okay, 0% is a nice soft blending brush. 100% is a really hard edged rigid brush. Okay. So now, since this is the background layer, I can't really do much to it other than copy and paste. I can't really edit it. What I'm going to do is right click on it and duplicate that layer. Okay, now this lets me have a copy of it right here, which I can edit. You see there's no lock on it. And I'm just going to drag this layer down to the trash can, the one that was locked, because I can't do anything with it, so it's not doing me any good. Okay, now if I wanted this one to be protected, I could lock it again or unlock it. Okay, now, like I said, I could erase this, and since I've got a nice soft brush, it kind of blends out. But when I bring this back, you can see that it hasn't done exactly what I would like. So I'm going to undo that erase, and instead I'm going to use the clone stamp tool. Okay, clone stamp. Now what this lets you do is if you hold down Alt on the keyboard, it says where your target is and now if you click again it's going to paint over where you clicked with stuff from your target okay so you can keep clicking new targets and painting new stuff in okay so with a little bit of finesse you can get rid of all of that okay but now you can see that it's a little distorted. You can see these little lighter spots. Um, so 
we're going to use the healing brush. And the healing brush does the same thing. Again, you click where you want to look at and where you want it to go. Okay, so I'm going to hold down Alt and click and then release. Alt and click and release and then now I click again and it's painting over great. Okay, so bring this back and I see, okay, now I've got a little bit of an edge around here. So I'm just going to work on this layer. I'm going to make sure I've got it selected. I'm going to use my eraser tool to make it pretty small. And now, instead of being 100% on the opacity, which is fully erasing, I'm going to bring it down to, say, 36. Okay, now as I click, you can see it's not totally erasing. If I just go right through it here like that, it doesn't erase fully. It just kind of erases a little bit. And so now I can fade this out and get a nice transition. Okay. And you can do that as much as you want to make it look good. Okay, I'm going to use the zoom tool to zoom back out. Okay. Um, and now I want to use a white text. So I'm going to click on white, enter some text. Um, and let's make it really small. Okay, that's too small. Let's try and get it about the size that they've got there. I'm going to pick a font that's similar to theirs. Okay, and we can move our original words over and put these in here. Okay, and if you want to edit your text, you just click on it again and type in what you want to do instead. And now if you ever see any of these uh, circles with lines through it or check boxes, that means you have to either commit or cancel your current edits before you can move on. Okay, and so now when I'm done, I can take this layer and merge it down. Layer, merge down. Do the same thing with this one. Layer, merge down. And I can save it. File, save. And you want to save it as either a PSD, if you plan on going back and editing it later, or a JPEG. Okay, and I'm just going to save over this one. Okay, that's some of the basics. Um, one other tool I like a lot is the smudge tool. So the smudge tool here. What this does is it lets you smear things around. So I'm going to give them crazy ears. And you can smudge his ears out as much as you want. This works really well in blending stuff together, especially in combination with your other tools. Um, okay. In preparing for modeling from blueprints, it's really important to have things line up properly. So if you do view and come down to rulers, you'll get these rulers. Uh, I'm going to make a copy of this. Apparently not. Okay, so I'm just going to copy everything into a new file and paste this in here. Empty rulers. Okay. Make sure you guys can see everything. Okay, so now if you click on one of these rulers, we can drag it down, and what it will actually do is bring up these guidelines. Okay, and you can use these guidelines to help you in your copy pasting to snap to these different corners. Okay, so if I wanted to copy and paste this into a new file, I would edit copy or control C and do a file new, 
click OK, edit paste. Okay, and so that means by having these these rulers in here, you can make sure everything lines up. So say I got this and I wasn't sure that they made this thing the right dimensions, and I wanted to check to make sure everything lines up. Okay, so I'm going to look at the top of these little towers here, and it looks like they pretty well line up. So this looks okay. Um, if I wanted to check the fins, I could bring one down for the fins. You can over here and look, and it looks like they kind of messed up here um, on some of these. And if you ever need to move a grid line, you can just select the Move tool and bring it over a grid line, and then you can move it again. Okay, so actually it looks like that part, there's a little fin up front, and these guys on the back do line up okay. So it looks like we're all right. Um, if you ever want to get rid of your grid lines completely, um, you can turn off your guides here, okay, and they'll just go away. All right, so that's that's the basics of Photoshop. Um, play around with all the tools. You can play around with the the layers and the ordering of the layers. Um, it's a really powerful tool, and there's a lot to it.